Hello. In this video, we are going to talk about how to pronounce uh, Biblical Greek, Ancient Greek. And this is one of the most annoying things to me. There are many different ways to pronounce Biblical Greek out there. And so I'm going to try to just give a guide and maybe give some suggestions of how to choose for yourself. So there are five, Here, here's my take. There are five main ways that Biblical Greek Ancient Greek is often pronounced, and those are the names of them on the top there. So I'm going to start over here with modern. So this is the pronunciation that people use today in modern Greece. The modern Greek is pronounced this, pronounced this way. It's also the same pronunciation that the Greek Orthodox churches use in their liturgy and such. And if you just Google or YouTube, whatever, you know, audio version of the New Testament, and even the Septuagint, the Old Testament version, the <laughs> most likely it's going to be in this modern translation, or modern pronunciation. So, modern pronunciation has the benefit of its modern Greece, and they kind of have a monopoly on the audio files online. So, personally, I tend to use modern for that reason. The main problem here with modern, as you can see here, the eta, yoda, upsilon, and then these diphthongs all are a long e sound, e. And this becomes, I mean, it's weird with the, the omicron yoda here, uh, is strange for that to be an e. But where it becomes particularly difficult is in... Um, you all or we all in Greek is imas or imas um, because the difference is, is between an eta and an upsilon. So many people, because of that reason, don't like modern for biblical Greek. Completely understandable. So there are these four other alternatives that are out there. I'm going to go way over here to the left just to kind of get our boundaries. So you get Erasmian. This is the standard pronunciation used in academia today. And um, if you go on websites and they have pronunciations, it's often Erasmian. Uh, Daily Dose of Greek uses it. This is an amazing resource put out by Rob Plummer, where he goes through a verse each day, uh, talking through the, the syntax and grammar of, of that verse. And so, benefits of using that program is he uses Erasmian pronunciation. And that you can notice all of these are distinguished. These two become A, as in skate. Upsilon becomes U, shoot. And Omicron Yoda becomes Oi. And then another big thing here is the Omicron is short, like hot, so it's an omicron. Another one, moving, and <laughs> so then there's a spectrum kind of in between these. You have early high koine. This is used by Polis and Alpha with Angela. Polis is a program in Jerusalem where they are, they try to speak Greek fluently, and so all of their classes are done solely in Greek. And Alpha with Angel is trying to recreate that kind of similar teaching style on YouTube for free. So you can actually watch her first videos that she's put out. And so it's basically the same as Erasmian. The only difference is a long O instead of a short O. So rather than A, Omicron, it is an Omicron or Omicron. Okay, then we're going to go over here to Reconstructed Koine. So this is the pronunciation of the Biblical Language Center. If you've uh, Ben Cantor and Randall Booth are two guys that are big uh, in this group. And so Ben Cantor has written a huge book on how to pronounce ancient Greek. So they've probably done the most historical research on how to pronounce it. And it's very similar to modern, very similar to modern. The Main difference is they do distinguish between the eta and the upsilon, 
with the a and the u, they do like a an umlaut u in there, uh, which you can see in like German. Um, and then the Lucian is the pronunciation by Luke Rannery. He he does more ancient Greek resources, but he has tons of his recordings available either free or very cheap on his Patreon page. And so that's the benefit of his pronunciation is there's just a lot to work from with that. And so he tries to paint a middle way in between the Erasmian and the modern, um, where he has, he has, you know, things like the, the long E he does he distinguishes between the eta and upsilon. Um, and then, so for these middle ones, these uh, diphthongs here, modern, you have ev and av. Same thing with reconstructed. Koine, you have ev and av. Where in Erasmian, these are u and au. Lucian just separates them. So it's kind of like au and au, uh, which can turn into sounding more modern. Uh, and so it's it's kind of a middle way. He tries to make a middle way. You can watch his whole video. It's way more linguistically um, in depth than, than what I'm giving here. But so when you're picking a pronunciation, what you probably want to do is look long term what you want to use Greek for. Um, and which which resource here is probably going to be most helpful to you. Uh, my my personal opinion, this uh, polis to me is growing. Alpha with Angela is going to be a great free resource online. It's making this one more attractive. Um, modern is also attractive because of the quality and amount of recordings online. Those are probably the two standouts in my mind. Uh, but I know there's there's tons of debates out there, but that's my take. We hope you enjoyed this episode of The Bible Toolbox. All of the resources mentioned in this episode are posted on our website, thebibletoolbox.com. There you can also find out more information on how to give and support us. And we have loved all of the encouragement and feedback we've received from you. So thanks so much.